This is my friend Hope, and this is her garden. Ever since I started taking my photography more seriously, I notice I work in cycles. Cycles described by alternating periods of play and then some, some level of learning, either formal or informal, followed by more play where I try to consciously apply the skills or concepts from what it is I, I just learned. And these cycles are almost always kicked off by a combination of boredom with the current level of my photographs and a desire to push the boundaries of my understanding and my skill. I noticed that many of my pictures, even though they're of different subjects, start to look the same. And that's when I know it's time to stretch. I've always been fascinated by macro photography. I think it has something to do with um, uh, the frustrated and wannabe scientist in me. My wonder vacillates between the really, really tiny and the really, really big. Really, really tiny as in the microscopic, the molecular, the quantum, and the really, really big as in stars and solar systems and nebulae and galaxies. About a year ago, I realized I was getting bored with what I was shooting again. And even though the subjects were all pretty different. There were many similarities in each. Similar perspectives, similar composition, the same kind of development in Lightroom. So I decided finally this could be an opportunity to explore macro photography more deeply as I had described in my log. So after purchasing a sweet macro lens, I went to one of my most reliable online sites for photography tips, tricks, and skill building, Digital Photography School. And I read articles, browsed some example photos, collected ideas of interesting subjects, cruised the comments section. Then I approached Hope, whose own interests I knew would make great subject matter for my next round of playing and learning. And we spent some fun afternoons together this past spring and summer, her giving me guided tours, me taking pictures of her pride and joy. Besides the beauty and incredible detail of macros, I'm wrapped by how, no matter what the subject is, entire universes exist within a square centimeter or even a few square millimeters. The paradox of the very large being contained in the very small, it tickles the brain. All by collecting some photons bouncing off a subject only an inch or two away from your lens. So this is my friend Hope, and her garden is her galaxy, and she let me play in it.